So the millions of less fortunate Americans faced a grim and uncertain future. Soup kitchens and bread lines became as commonplace as the flappers and speakeasies of the Roaring Twenties. And Herbert Hoover's campaign promise of a chicken in every pot couldn't have been farther from the truth. America's towns and cities struggled in vain to help the thousands in need. The jobless became the homeless. Shanty towns, makeshift communities of shacks constructed from wooden crates, tar paper, and cardboard sprang up. Disillusioned citizens called them Hoovervilles after the president. And the newspapers they slipped under, Hoover blankets. Others left the city to ride the rails, looking for work. Too poor to purchase train tickets, they hitched rides on freight cars, hoping they wouldn't be caught, hoping they'd find a job. Approximately two million men became hobos, wandering the countryside looking for work.